So hi, good evening, everybody. Whoever is watching in my YouTube and uh, in the Zoom, okay. and today we'll be discussing about how to raise vibration so that we can go uh, towards the positivity, productivity, and everything towards success. Right? So. Please share my screen. So there will be some ground rules for ourselves. Ground rules will be like you have to spend about 70 minutes out here, 90 minutes across, so that you can understand what is going on out here and uh, understand the full context of the And uh, the questions will be at the end. And how you will get into the community to understand more and how to learn more and how to uh, work on the discipline side of it, we will discuss it at the end. So here is, uh, here is my screen. So I shall be working on it while I'll be telling you about this. So we, this is, they say there will be more than 10 strategies, of course, but the minimum 10 strategies uh, to contain a botheration with a higher vibration coming from a miraculous mindset for ultimate clarity, fulfillment, and accelerated growth. Okay. So way back in, uh, this is for mid-career professionals. Way back in... The camera is much easier. So what I will do is see the, the sound my YouTube. Yes. Yeah. Now the camera is. Screen. Way back in 2004, when I was going to, through a very patchy, uh, patchy, uh, uh, what you can say, time in my life, what I did was just uh, put the thing off also. I was searching for solution, which solution to take so that I can have this uh, vibration. No, achieving success effortlessly. So I came across the secret. Any of you might have uh, gone through this secret also because people are searching for success without doing much. <laughs> yes, I was one of those type and uh, I also was searching something. Why? No, there are also time when we are clueless about what is going on in life. Why, despite all our good intention, all the things that uh, we are doing, the hard work we are doing, we are not achieving results. So that becomes our botheration, right? So today we'll be discussing about those uh, thought processes, why such things happen. So I was searching for a solution and I came across this uh, particular, let me share again my screen. So I came across this uh, thing, right? This is, uh, this is called David R. Hawkins chart. So when I saw this, I was, you know, uh, like I said, first of all, I saw this. And I read something in uh, this secret. Right. And uh, I was trying to find out uh, what is wrong with me, whether vibrationally I am in sync with the universe or not. So what I, the first clue that I read was you, one has to be in sync with the universe. So how do you be in sync with the universe is yes, you need to uh, high, high, like say raise your vibration. Right? So then this chart, and this chart says, if you are in shame, 
guilt your you your consciousness is contracted <coughs> means it is squeezed somebody is holding you back no matter how much you are doing because of your feelings are in shame i say you are ashamed of something you have guilt you have done something wrong maybe according to you and you are not able to forgive yourself then you have apathy apathy means you are indifferent to people so i saw all this right and i was interested to know more about this and then the second thing i saw was this. there is a force you are forcing your mind uh, to behave in a certain way and in the low vibration range so you understand vibration no like say all of us are vibrating at certain level because we are energy beings after we are um, Like say our memory, we exist after the death also. So what what does exist? It is the energy. Energy. If it is energy once, it is always energy. And energy has different forms, and we are also energy. Right. So if we are energy, then let me see it. If we are energy. then we should be vibrating at a certain frequency right so then uh, what is my frequency do you like do you not like to know what is my frequency so that is when i started exploring the hawkins law hawkins law and then i i was let's say i was shocked right shocked at what i found the lower most the lower most uh, bottom of the pyramid is fear grief despair and powerlessness so when we are like say we we think that we are not able to do anything we are not able to change our circumstances we are not able to take uh, like say handle be in charge of anything we are powerless and that in that moment we are vibrating at 5 to 20 whatever frequency unit is there we are like say vibrating at that level and the universal frequency is much higher than that it is a it is 1000 plus and there are many emotions to the mind which will which takes us into those kind of ranges so it is it is it is that easy and this is in control with uh, like say it gives us control of the way we are right so let me see what happened here a minute so this uh, became like so who who we can be and there are uh, say uh, several uh, stages right uh, as we go up from one emotion to other we raise our vibration although those are negative and as you can see this screen it is about force till you have a pride up to pride it is force then it becomes your power and after that it is spontaneous so first of all let me see let us see where are we? so if suppose you are feeling a grief despair and powerlessness what what uh, questions are you asking you are thinking this 
said to be. Obviously, you are thinking yourself to be a very timid person, right? So change that. You, we can change that. So the moment we start thinking around, around this way of thinking, we can change that thought process, right? What? Is causing this emotion. How can we change the thoughts and why? You get rid of this, get rid of this call. Now what can we do? Here we can let us design something. Insert a shape. Let us insert a rectangle out. And what does it say? Rectangle. You can freely read. You can text fill. Text fill it. Text fill. And then we edit text. So, how are you feeling? What is the Story right now. Can you alter this? What is the next emotion are you feeling? So it, it will not be same for everybody. But when I started doing this, I saw that joy is the highest place. I saw actually this funnel, right? And I saw that. If I cannot feel uh, love, that is okay because at that moment something was happening in my life and I was not able to feel love. So what I did was, I could feel joy, right? So I started feeling happy. Now what happens if you give yourself a, such a such kind of emotions? Because this happens abruptly, right? When you do abruptly, you are giving yourself a pretension that abhi, I say this is not natural. Abhi ye aaya hai aapke paas. Automatically aaya hai and you, you are not feeling the same. Exactly. So, 
अभी आप क्या क्या करो राइट लेट दिस सेम स्लाइड्स एंड द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड इज इनसिक्योरिटी गिल्ट अनवर्दीनेस when you are feeling this so let me ask you the question how many does this who how what why questions so what what is the next when you are feeling insecure so what is the question for you who you are a person then become then be transform in let be your uh, question if you are uh, thinking to empower yourself now how to change the insecurity into strength into Take the insecurity into right. You can say. Right? Let us ask. Start asking with this question. What? What will you do with this insecurity or guilt or unworthiness that you are facing? What can be empowering to stay why situation has come in into your life right now can you ask this question security guilt or one unworthiness is there in your mind when you ask all these questions yes you can then let us take the this uh, portion to this and ask the same question what is the story right now like say what has been the story and how are you feeling definitely when you are feeling and you haven't asked me before asking all this question you might be feeling another emotion right and now you are feeling another emotion so write down those let me copy this to other slides as well so that i don't have to copy time and again see we take every every segment your vibration is going off but they are still at a negative stage right so uh, you you need to work on that that till you are getting it is not sequential of course as i am saying it is never sequential it is uh, it is jumping from one stage to another and from the highest frequency also there is chances that you will get down to the bottom level if your frequency is at that level right so 
always and if i ask the same question to two different people they will be uh, they will be answering two different answers and both the answers are valid there is no wrong or right answer everything is valid for according to your situation right so you don't have to feel ashamed about something that the other person is saying it is your story you have to be confident about writing your story because you need to be in charge ultimately that is what we are looking for right so the second um, uh, emotion was will take you to 20 to 30 but you are still at very negative position can can you help this of course you can help this with practice right it takes practice it takes lot of inner question so that you can become more right let us come to the third question apathy jealousy because you are in the who are you jealous of jealous of different then what circumstances in life has taught you to be so there is always some experience behind how and what we are thinking so just ask yourself what circumstances were there which have let asked you like say led you to think in this pattern like becoming uh, indifferent to other people's problems right then the second the next is how can or be used to remind me you treat that why why is it so painful to accept other Person. that is why because you are not able to accept the other person that is why this thought has been persisting inside your mind now ask yourself what is the story right now can you alter this what is the next emotion that is coming to your mind right and your thought your vibration now is at 30 to 50 whenever this is happening to you so let us see this then the next next is hatred and rage right 
raise is when you are vehemently and angry angry to the to the extent that you are hating the other person so be later inside you what is appreciated about this personality because we become something because we are able to you know uh, thinking something good about this personality that we are now we are angry because we think we tell ourselves that we cannot stand injustice that is why we are at a rage at rage is i cannot stand this kind of person so that is why i hate this person so we justify why we are so so just try to ask these questions then how tell me if anybody in the audience is thinking in this way how the other can gain support is the earlier thing so how how can we alter why why to be present that you it is you this dominate right you to this ask yourself this question when you is driving you this situation because when we are in a very negative mood we are we are not feeling good even though we are justifying our actions we are not feeling good you agree about that so ask yourself the next question what is the story right now how this ang ang anger or hatred has come uh, within you what to do why they have come and tell tell the story to yourself why this has become so right and how you can alter this what is the next emotion are you feeling now once you know you are uh, you go know, you recognize that this is a negative emotion then what is the next emotion that you are feeling how are you able to transition so that will make it positive for you uh, that let's like, say possible for you to you follow through your thought patterns the next is anger and revenge so many of us when i talk about a miraculous mindset everybody will come up with a negative idea why because somebody is there to listen i am here to listen so somebody will come up with a very negative idea and that is usually about an anger or a revenge right so Change. 
Please hold for me. It's limited X. When I ask this, when you are very revengeful, you are feeling kind of a comfort because you know you are uh, uh, you are at the at the helm of the affair. You think so, and you are thinking that the other person is kind of uh, you. You are dominating that person. So. So you are thinking that you are. In a, in a very powerful mode, right? If you are thinking that, you don't know your thoughts. What are your thoughts at is going revenge. That is what you are thinking. No? Your anger will be satisfied. So uh, what are your thoughts with successful revenge? So after, this is the moment when you are thinking about revenge, but once you will be successful, that is what you are thinking. No? You will be happy. You will take badala. Of the other person, over the other person. So, think for a moment. Once you take the revenge, what all will happen? Can you think of those thoughts? How? What? What do you associate with this? How? What positive thing you can associate with this? Transition. This moment. Why? What? Getting over is. Coming. Be mine. Okay. Is it because I'm uh, talking that this is not uh, wrong? If this is this is not good, and one should get over the their thought. Is this the reason why you are thinking of getting over this thought pattern? If it is so, then also you have to think, why should you pay attention to another person? Because it has to be your own strong reason, why should you get over this, right? So, but you don't force yourself to get over this, whatever thought pattern you have. So, even if it is very destructive, all the negative emotions are destructive for ourselves. Do you realize that? So the first thing towards achieving a higher vibration is the realization that we are going to, we are not going to achieve anything. Even though we are successful at getting revenge and pacifying our anger and everything, the moment is lost and we have lost power during those moments. Only when we are able to get over all those negative emotions, we get back our power. Otherwise, we are forced into these negative emotions by circumstances, by people. And we have no power. So the moment we realize that these are the situations which can happen, and those are very realistic situations, you have to be very honest with yourself so that you can get over these kind of emotions. Let me see. So what is your story right now? You have to write that down. The next is discouragement and frustration. So, so many times, life is full of discouragement, frustration, right? Um, at times. So we should, 
we should say that life is full of frustration it is okay right full of frustration it is okay but if we allow so if we allow frustration overpowers us so who is the person who Yes. Frustrated. At the moment. See, these are com these thoughts are coming to me automatically. You know, he I I hadn't thought about this previously. these thoughts are coming right at the moment so i think that the universe is hinting me to write these things so when you are frustrated you are not the usual self right you are not a frustrated person for all time you are frustrated right now so how are you different your usual self is different from this frustrated person that is for sure but who you have become by being frustrated so let me write that who have you become by being frustrated right what you feel makes you frustrated or discouraged right yes. of this place now how how would you use this to become a Better version of yourself. Right? How you will become a better version of yourself? Right? Is the spelling okay? Yeah. So then, why discouragement, frustration? frustration so why so welcome joys if you are there already so what i am doing is like say i am uh, sourcing because this is the topic about vibration and vibration is such a thing welcome to the screen let me welcome you properly for a moment so this is is <clears throat> this is a session on vibration vibration is like say because we are energy being we are with vibration so all the people in the universe are vibrational being right and so i am i'm discussing about vibration that is fine right you are gone then once you are back then i will explain okay so why would you use this to become a better person of yourself better version of yourself and why the 
Y R G Y R Y R G feeling this emotion. Right now. Third is, uh, then the next is blame or, or victim. Have you become By being powerless, what makes you using power? Others. That is why you are blaming. Now, when you blame, actually, you have given uh, your control and your uh, control over yourself to somebody. You are saying as if somebody else has power over you. How the other person, how the situation, has gained control over you. Why? To, because when you are put into a situation, it is obvious that you need it. The universe is saying that you need to overcome this particular emotion. That is why it is giving you the same situation over and over and over again, again and again. Right? So, hmm. am I sharing the screen? So, why you need to be in situation that we What is the story? Again, you need to repeat. What is the story right now? Can you alter this? What is the next emotion are you feeling? Right? So, yes. And so we are done and we are at uh, 110130. So your emotions, your vibration level has gone up from uh, 5 up to 130. But you are still in the negative emotion range. Now, doubt and suspicion. Self doubt. So, when you are, uh, when you are uh, 
doubting yourself, it is self-doubt. And suspicion is when you are suspicious about another person. So, what in your mind is in your actually the 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 thought happens in the mind, but it it is because of an experience. What in your experience? Let me write it down. Experience. Has created this thought in your mind. So, when you come to the class, right, when you join my training, these will be this will be the step by step practice that you have to practice. This is in. Uh, stage two, but uh, you know, uh, stage two practice and I usually give this stage two practice uh, after you complete the stage one. Right? Then how? See, this again, this thought has come to me and I completely uh, do not understand as to why this uh, of came to me right now. But what I understand is it has to do with your vision. The person you are ultimately will be, that person needs to know how and why this has happened. You have many small slides. There are a lot of slides. Let me let me see what we can cover And why? Why you should this? to be overcome. See, this question will be this question of what, who, why, and how will be very different for a different people. And these are my questions. I'm giving you a hint as to how to ask questions. Next will be worry or sad future. So when you are worrying, you are of course worrying about your future. So, person, future is yes, for your. That is what you are worried about, right? Mm -hmm. 
what? This, uh, because this is a futuristic situation happening in your mind. So right now you need to put a stop to that situation from happening so that it doesn't happen another time. How? Will you design the future to overcome us? Oh. Here you have a responsibility. How will you? Why? Why you should take responsibility right now? Why you should be responsible? Charge right now. Okay. So once you ask these four questions, these are my hints. Again, you have to ask your questions. And what is the story? Right. Story means whatever thought. It is all thoughts, right? Whatever thoughts before you are in this uh, this situation of worry. And how, after asking these questions, how your mind has become? Then disappointment and dwelling in past. So now what I ask you to do is let us see what will be your course contain for the for the you have a bundle of five courses five bonuses and one course and uh, you will learn how to be unshakably productive, right? Empowered, reframing, how, how you will have empowered, reframing, reframing self-assessment questions, like the questions that I have asked right now. And during that process, you will discover your superpowers as well. And the five bonus courses that you will have is, you will have a morning thoughts to come to, how you will think so that your morning thoughts will come true, then how to build a big team. So this is about responsibility, taking up responsibility. And about your big vision, big person, right? And three divergent models to execute. 
next is next is soul search in which you will always remain a winner despite some of some whatever is happening in your life right and discover the disenchantment zone where every event enables you to become new and call your higher self because there is some power some energy within which only helps us to grow right and then process versus result in which you have to be having continuous upgrade so that your processes are solid and you are ready for any kind of challenge that is going to come up and delegate appropriate which is about mentoring you can only delegate to a trained person you can take over the the work that you are delegating who needs to be capable enough right so that is the thing that you need to do and uh, finally monetizing a skill so whatever you decide we will find out the way so that you learn enough to earn enough right? these are the five basic course at level 1 that you will be getting and along with that you will get practice books so here what practice books you will get the first is self image where in these are the topics the second is version jump i have already spoken about the version jump right then action over uh, like creative advantage relooking self having an edge how you will distinguish yourself then credibility how you will craft dependability you know drafting dependability is one you know you have to uh, design your team as to how you will behave in a team you know your people your circumstances right so now you have to design according to the uh, whatever is happening right and how you will stand uh, in a in a crowd how you will have those things and these are the patterns so the topics are various right so these are there are 30 practice books like that which will which are 5 to 6 page uh, no infographic books which will ask you questions and you you can um, solve every day you can take a copy of those books and every day you can write your 6 to 7 according to what your emotion is that day and every day you don't need anger questions every day you don't need uh, depression questions but anger and depression can happen at times right so um, uh, take those practice books ask yourself questions and calm down and raise your values that is what this uh, course is uh, intended for and your miraculous mindset happens when you take control of your uh, mindset so that you become fulfilled and you have clarity and you can gain forward go for So they, these are the thirty books that I have. These are only the what you can say the flyer that I am giving. The practice books are once you are inside the course, depending on whatever you need, the course the practice depending on the questions that I have asked. Right? I have just asked. four types of questions to every every state of mind and every state of mind will uh, define it differently and your practice books will be defined differently right defined different so i have 30 such practice books and uh, the price point is Like so, the value of the entire course is one lakh seventy thousand. And right now, if you are looking at this screen, then you will get it at only five triple nine. Yes. And so that this is the 
this is the that's it. Any question if you can ask? Or else we stop and I'll be waiting for your questions uh, through the link that I have sent. Once you register, you will keep on getting my mails every day and uh, we, I can answer your questions. Thank you. Thank you.